We don't want to instill panic. We don't want to jump up and down and start shouting uh, that we have a problem that is uh, a tremendous problem, scare everybody. And I'll tell you the other thing, we immediately started buying all over the world. We started buying uh, masks and gowns and everything else. And we don't want to cause uh, pricing to go up to a level that becomes almost unaffordable. So, yeah, in that sense, so in that sense, I agree with it. Yeah, please. How do you reassure the American public going forward that they can trust what you're saying? Well, I think that's uh, really a big part of trust. We have to have leadership. We have to show leadership. And the last thing you want to do is create a panic in the country. This was a horrible thing. It was sent to us by China. Should not have happened. Should never have happened. This is a disgusting, terrible situation uh, that was foisted upon us. And uh, we have to show — we just don't want to use — the best word is panic. We don't want to have to show panic. We're not going to show panic. And that's exactly what I did. And I was very open, whether it's to Woodward or anybody else. It's just another political hit job. But whether it was Woodward or anybody else, you cannot show a sense of panic, or you're going to have bigger problems than you ever had before. Please.